Hey there everyone, welcome back in Django to do every tutorial series. My name is Azhar Slim. In this video, we are going to discuss about the views, not this views.py, um, in the views which we write here and pass data to our front end or get data from front end. So here we will use our class base views. In Django, there is two uh, type of views. One is functional, one is class base. So about functional views or function based view, you can, uh, I will show you later when we use this search um, functionality to filter or find our to do's. About this template and code, I will upload in GitHub and give the link below in this video description. I'm going back to my VS code. First of all, from Django dot views dot then here generics and from generic import template view. There is uh, some other views like uh, list view and uh, a lot of other which we discuss list view detail view. Uh, we'll discuss in coming uh, our uh, projects there I will show you and in future we'll create uh, you can say a real world projects like uh, CRM uh, point of sale HR management and even ERP at the end I will develop uh, the complete ERP system so here we'll discuss the basic thing which you know as a beginner or if you want to go to learn uh, if you're trying to learn Django, so don't take a uh, headache or uh, stuck in like uh, advanced things first. You have to learn uh, the basic thing. For here, first we have to um, write a code for our template view, means to show our code and then the next create update and delete means three kind of class base views we have created now this time i'm going to create this um, template view class and then this to do we already import from our models class to do view you can use any name from here uh, here and then template view which we imported import from our generic views first here we have to give the template name I'm just going to keep the same name otherwise it will be error because a predefined in Django and here uh, I'll get name to do view dot html let's create this uh, to do and just work view dot html in your base directory i'm going to close this one i mean this to do create our here a folder and the folder name i'm keeping here templates or template and inside this template I will uh, create this file to do view dot html now we have to access this uh, template for this we have to go in our project to do app settings and under here the templates directory you can see from here os dot path dot join then we have to pass here base directory means our base directory and then the folder name template which you create here template just save it everything is going on okay i'm going to close this settings.py here html 
I will type just uh, H1 Hello Django Just I uh, pass here H1 tag Now I am going to access here by using this when I uh, type here to do view dot html this file Django will automatically access this file because we pass in our settings dot by the folder or the path of our templates next step we have to pass here our model and uh, this model which we created in our last uh, video tutorial and uh, we import here to do so it's not models it's model to do okay the next step is uh, we have to define here a function which uh, will pass our data to uh, uh, you can set in our front end here def then get context data I'm going to remove this and I will return this uh, not in a, as a super as a context See, here is a, uh, a lot of kind of uh, you can say class based view predefined uh, which we can use like um, form view, detail view, list view, and every view have its own functionality and feature. Now, this time I'm showing you the best and the easiest way uh, as a beginner level. So, next context then here we can pass multiple models it's not only this model if we have multiple model or data we can pass here now I type here objects underscore list and then self self we use here dot and uh, next we pass here model this model we are accessing from here if we not pause here simply we have to give the complete model in detail here or the name and then objects dot all that's it if we have here multiple um database uh, model we can access and for example here authors you can pause here author but this author we didn't create we have to create here in our models then we have to import and uh, then we can pass from here author dot objects dot all or any filtration if you want to apply here so it's very simple and easy not only one or two you can pass here multiple models now just return this context that's it now i'm going to save and uh, the next step if i go to my urls and access then it's not accessible why because we have to create here the url create a new file urls dot by we have to import this our to do view here in our urls and these urls we have to pass here under our project urls then we can access this view so that's all this tutorial next tutorial we will create our urls 
and uh, we will try to um, show in our browser this template view the file which we created